Welcome to another one of our English lessons. Are you ready to improve your English listening and speaking skills? Today we will listen to a story about Lily's life as a college student. We will also learn some interesting vocabulary from the story. Are you excited and ready to begin? Let's get started then. Listen very carefully to the story. My college routine. Hi, I'm Lily, and I'm a college student. My days are pretty busy with classes, studying, and fun moments with friends. Mornings start with my alarm buzzing. After a quick shower and a simple breakfast of cereal and coffee, I head to my first class. Between classes, I run around the campus and take lots of notes. The library is like my second home, a quiet place to focus. Lunch is a break to eat and chat with friends. We share stories and laugh a lot. Afternoons are filled with more classes and group projects. Finding a place to charge my laptop is always a challenge. In the midst of this routine, conversations with friends add color to my days. Whether it's sharing a joke in the cafeteria or discussing class notes in the dorm common room, Everyday sentences become the threads weaving through the fabric of college life. One day, I caught up with my friend, Mike, in the cafeteria. Hey, Lily, how's it going? He asked, grabbing a seat across from me. Not bad, Mike. Just surviving the usual chaos. You? Same here. By the way, have you tackled that crazy assignment for Professor Adams? Ugh, don't remind me. It's on my to-do list for tonight. Later, in class, Professor Adams notices my struggle with the assignment. After class, I approached him for guidance. Professor, I'm having a bit of trouble with the assignment. Any tips? Of course, Lily. Let's break it down together. Remember, every challenge is an opportunity to learn. When classes end, it's back to my dorm. I've decorated it with fairy lights and posters to make it cozy. After a break, I go to the cafeteria for dinner, sometimes a culinary adventure. Evenings are for clubs, sports, or just relaxing with a good book or music. Nights are spent in the dorm common room, watching movies or playing games with friends. Assignments often keep me up late, but that's part of the college experience. As midnight approaches, the campus gets quiet. In my dorm room, I think about the day. College is a mix of learning, making friends, and discovering more about myself. Every day brings something new, and I'm enjoying the journey. This was Lily's college routine. Do you have a similar routine? Tell us about it in the comments below. Now let's learn some interesting vocabulary and important key phrases from the story. College. College is an educational institution or establishment, in particular, one providing higher education or specialized professional or vocational training. Library. A library is a building or room containing collections of books, periodicals, and sometimes films and recorded music for use or borrowing by the public or the members of an institution. Group Projects A group project is an activity that involves two or more people working together on a given assignment. Challenge Challenge in this story means a task or situation that tests someone's abilities. Conversation a conversation is a talk, especially an informal one, between two or more people in which news and ideas are exchanged. Dorm A dorm is a place where college or university students live. You'll find a lot of bunk beds in most dorms. Cafeteria A cafeteria is a restaurant in which customers serve themselves from a counter and pay before eating. Assignment an assignment is a task or piece of work 
allocated to someone as part of a job or course of study. Chaos. Chaos means complete confusion and disorder, a state in which behavior and events are not controlled by anything. Tackled. Tackled means to make determined efforts to deal with a problem or a difficult task. Struggle. Struggle means to try very hard to do something when it is difficult or when there are a lot of problems. Break it down. Break it down means to separate something into a number of parts. For example, each tutorial is broken down into more manageable units. Fairy lights. Fairy lights are small, colored electric lights that are hung up as decorations. For example, on a Christmas tree. Culinary. Culinary means having to do with cooking or the kitchen. Midnight. The meaning of midnight is the middle of the night, specifically 12 o'clock at night. Now let's listen to the story once again and practice speaking. Listen to every sentence carefully and repeat after me. Hi, I'm Lily, and I'm a college student. Hi, I'm Lily, and I'm a college student. My days are pretty busy with classes, studying, and fun moments with friends. My days are pretty busy with classes, studying, and fun moments with friends. Mornings start with my alarm buzzing. Mornings start with my alarm buzzing. After a quick shower and a simple breakfast of cereal and coffee, I head to my first class. After a quick shower and a simple breakfast of cereal and coffee, I head to my first class. Between classes, I run around the campus and take lots of notes. Between classes, I run around the campus and take lots of notes. The library is like my second home, a quiet place to focus. The library is like my second home. A quiet place to focus. Lunch is a break to eat and chat with friends. Lunch is a break to eat and chat with friends. We share stories and laugh a lot. We share stories and laugh a lot. Afternoons are filled with more classes and group projects. Afternoons are filled with more classes and group projects. Finding a place to charge my laptop is always a challenge. Finding a place to charge my laptop is always a challenge. In the midst of this routine, conversations with friends add color to my days. In the midst of this routine, conversations with friends add color to my days. Whether it's sharing a joke in the cafeteria or discussing class notes in the dorm common room. Whether it's sharing a joke in the cafeteria or discussing class notes in the dorm common room. Everyday sentences become the threads weaving through the fabric of college life. 
everyday sentences become the threads weaving through the fabric of college life. One day, I caught up with my friend, Mike, in the cafeteria. One day, I caught up with my friend, Mike, in the cafeteria. Hey, Lily, how's it going? he asked, grabbing a seat across from me. Hey, Lily, how's it going? he asked, grabbing a seat across from me. Not bad, Mike. Just surviving the usual chaos. You? Not bad, Mike. Just surviving the usual chaos. You? Same here. By the way, have you tackled that crazy assignment for Professor Adams? Same here. By the way, have you tackled that crazy assignment for Professor Adams? Ugh, don't remind me. It's on my to-do list for tonight. Ugh, don't remind me. It's on my to-do list for tonight. Later in class, Professor Adams notices my struggle with the assignment. Later in class, Professor Adams notices my struggle with the assignment. After class, I approached him for guidance. After class, I approached him for guidance. Professor, I'm having a bit of trouble with the assignment. Any tips? Professor, I'm having a bit of trouble with the assignment. Any tips? Of course, Lily. Let's break it down together. Remember, every challenge is an opportunity to learn. Of course, Lily. Let's break it down together. Remember, every challenge is an opportunity to learn. When classes end, it's back to my dorm. When classes end, it's back to my dorm. I've decorated it with fairy lights and posters to make it cozy. I've decorated it with fairy lights and posters to make it cozy. After a break, I go to the cafeteria for dinner, sometimes a culinary adventure. After a break, I go to the cafeteria for dinner, sometimes a culinary adventure. Evenings are for clubs, sports, or just relaxing with a good book or music. Evenings are for clubs, sports, or just relaxing with a good book or music. Nights are spent in the dorm common room, watching movies or playing games with friends. Nights are spent in the dorm common room, watching movies or playing games with friends. Assignments often keep me up late, but that's part of the college experience. Assignments often keep me up late, but that's part of the college experience.
As midnight approaches, the campus gets quiet. As midnight approaches, the campus gets quiet. In my dorm room, I think about the day. In my dorm room, I think about the day. College is a mix of learning, making friends, and discovering more about myself. College is a mix of learning, making friends, and discovering more about myself. Every day brings something new, and I'm enjoying the journey. Every day brings something new, and I'm enjoying the journey. Now let's listen to the story one more time, and this time pay close attention as I will take a quiz after this. Let's begin. Hi, I'm Lily, and I'm a college student. My days are pretty busy with classes, studying, and fun moments with friends. Mornings start with my alarm buzzing. After a quick shower and a simple breakfast of cereal and coffee, I head to my first class. Between classes, I run around the campus and take lots of notes. The library is like my second home, a quiet place to focus. Lunch is a break to eat and chat with friends. We share stories and laugh a lot. Afternoons are filled with more classes and group projects. Finding a place to charge my laptop is always a challenge. In the midst of this routine, conversations with friends add color to my days. Whether it's sharing a joke in the cafeteria or discussing class notes in the dorm common room, everyday sentences become the threads weaving through the fabric of college life. One day, I caught up with my friend, Mike, in the cafeteria. Hey, Lily, how's it going? He asked, grabbing a seat across from me. Not bad, Mike. Just surviving the usual chaos. You? Same here. By the way, have you tackled that crazy assignment for Professor Adams? Ugh, don't remind me. It's on my to-do list for tonight. Later, in class, Professor Adams notices my struggle with the assignment. After class, I approached him for guidance. Professor, I'm having a bit of trouble with the assignment. Any tips? Of course, Lily. Let's break it down together. Remember, every challenge is an opportunity to learn. When classes end, it's back to my dorm. I've decorated it with fairy lights and posters to make it cozy. After a break, I go to the cafeteria for dinner, sometimes a culinary adventure. Evenings are for clubs, sports, or just relaxing with a good book or music. Nights are spent in the dorm common room, watching movies or playing games with friends. Assignments often keep me up late, but that's part of the college experience. As midnight approaches, the campus gets quiet. In my dorm room, I think about the day. College is a mix of learning, making friends, and discovering more about myself. Every day brings something new, and I'm enjoying the journey. Now I will ask a few questions from the story, and you will give the answer. Let's begin. What thing wakes Lily up in the morning? A. People. B. Alarm clock. C. Wind. D. Her mom. Time is up. The correct answer is... What breakfast does Lily have in the morning? A. Pancakes. B. Porridge. C. Cereal and coffee. D. Bread. Time is up. 
The correct answer is. Where does Lily go to focus? A. Her home. B. The library. C. The dorm. D. In the park. Time is up. The correct answer is. What does Lily do in the afternoons? A. Group projects. B. Sleep. C. Play. D. Talk with friends. Time is up. The correct answer is. Which professor's assignment was Lily struggling with? A. Professor Snape. B. Professor Adams. C. Professor Dumbledore. D. Professor Harry. Time is up. The correct answer is. What keeps Lily up till late in the night? A. Clubs. B. Sports. C. Dinner. D. Assignments. Time is up. The correct answer is. That is it for today's lesson. If you have gotten this far, then I would like to congratulate you, as this shows you are eager to learn and improve your listening and speaking skills. Remember, practice makes perfect, and the more you practice, the better you will become. So just keep trying and keep improving. See you in the next video with another English lesson. Goodbye.